All right, I've started the video. Uh, anyway, um, welcome to another edition of What the Fuck Happenings in the YouTube Atheist Community and Stick and Pun. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm a little bit tired. Uh, you know, it's a long night last night, and then it snowed, and you know, shoveling and stuff today, and blah blah blah. So anyway, um, yeah. So we'll do the stick cam thing first. Um, yeah, it was it was an okay. It was just a weird night, and we just basically talked about uh, gender identities and stuff, and um, zombie um, zombies are full of formaldehyde. The um, girl from Saskatchewan now. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, I, you know, it sort of got personal because you know she's had stuff, and but anyway, we got into this whole subject of you know asexuality and pansexuality and anything sexuality and whatever and whatever, and so it was just. But yeah, the whole night was kind of covering that kind of stuff. Um, but it wasn't it wasn't bad. I mean, you know, it really wasn't. Uh, Karina did a lot of talking, and that was kind of neat. You know, she argues good, and she even she was defending anti bullshit man's uh, video. Um, which I still think was bullshit, but whatever. You know, people are entitled to disagree on this kind of stuff. It's all complex psychology, um, and you know, people get you know they pay a lot of attention to these words like whether something can be qualified as an illness or a disorder or um, all this kind of crap. And I don't know if that really matters. Um, and I don't know what the ideal thing is. I mean, ideally, you could say, well, it'd be really good if we made human beings who like to eat rice cakes. You know, like really simple food, really simple, you know, that made them really happy. They got a lot of pleasure out of very simple things. And they didn't need complex social dynamics and circumstances to get them off, so to speak. And uh, so obviously some of our, you know, some of us have a sexuality that's a little bit eccentric and complicated. I mean, all kinds of buttons have to be pushed and it's like, you need a computer program and uh, I mean, it's just really complicated. And so, yeah, there's a certain... Um, uh, efficiency to just making it simple like oh I don't even need sex I mean that's sort of a, an interesting concept I can't see the you know this life kind of loses its meaning <laughs> you know I mean it doesn't have any anyway but I mean if you're gonna be here you must be driven by desire and I just don't know what desire would drive you uh, if it wasn't connected to sex um, but whatever uh, you know maybe there's something out there maybe it makes sense somehow uh, but you sort of have to be there. You know, you sort of have to be both things to know what they are. And it's really hard to do that. I mean, it's like almost impossible to do that. Um, because, you know, whatever one you are to start with is going to corrupt your perception. And you're going to be attached to it. And you're going to think, yeah, that's the way it should be. So, I mean, as a, you know, uh, a male, you know, I, you know, whatever. I mean, there's some of this stuff I just can't, I can't, Put it in my brain and say, "Yeah, that makes sense," because it doesn't make sense. So that's as far as I can go, I guess, with it. Um, so I'm not saying it's not worthy of conversation, and we shouldn't do something to not, you know, mess with people's heads. But it's really hard to not. I mean, it's really hard to unmess with people's heads because no matter what psychology you try to take out of people, you're going to be leaving them with some other psychology. I mean, it's they're going to have a psychology. I mean, I guess what I'm saying is the nature of the beast to be neurotic. It's the nature of the beast to desire stuff that isn't worth anything. I mean, that's what we do. We chase shit that isn't worth anything. We chase wealth, and it's not worth it. None of this shit is worth anything. I mean, driving around a Lamborghini or something, it's all in your head. It's what you think it is. It doesn't itself mean anything. It's, it's useless bullshit. Um, shiny yellow car. I mean, why should that mean anything to a human being? It shouldn't mean a damn thing. Uh, so it's all an illusion. So I guess like it's, like for me, the bottom line is is yeah, whatever maximizes that desire satisfaction equation is probably what we want to strive for in terms of a human being. But I don't think there's anything inherently awful about the idea of man and woman. Um, it works for me, so whatever. Uh, you know, maybe I'm just you know subjectively biased by my penis. <laughs> maybe it's just completely controlling my perception, and I don't <clears throat> understand anything else. <clears throat> but yeah, that's the way it works for me. Uh, but whatever, uh, whatever. So anyway, that's what the, the whole night was just that kind of stuff. So I shouldn't even go into that much of it. So I probably used up my whole video on this crap. 
but whatever uh, there will be a part two inevitably and that'll be on the website usual routine blah 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 all right um, so there's some other stuff I got to get to that you know well whatever I'll post the links so I'll post the links in this video over there and some of them might not be in this video because I won't get to it in time but anyway all right so there's, there's that uh, Kevin um, Solway guy who you know misogynists whatever who cares he made a pretty good economics video so I'm gonna post a link to that and so that's worthy of something um, so yeah maybe he's a nut when it comes to understanding women but he's he made a pretty good video on economics so whatever uh, then there's this whole TJ thing so it's got to be talked about a little bit he did a blog TV last night and I watched some of it and you know he gets these huge audiences which is amazing <laughs> you know whatever uh, because it was really just crap, um, inane crap. And uh, but you know he threw in there, you know the the date rape thing came up, and he again validated, justified this this stupid argument that if a woman gets you going, then uh, she's obligated to go all the way to the finish line, <laughs> you know. And uh, he certainly didn't draw the specific line where the woman goes too far. I mean whether it's the mini skirt or the cleavage or if she says hey cutie I don't know exactly where he says oh she went too far um, but it's just a bullshit argument uh, women have the right at any moment to say no mas they have a right to and uh, just as human beings a man has a right in a, in a male male relationship it's people have a right to say no I don't want to do that I mean it's just idiotic to say they don't have that fucking right and they have a right to have it respected and yeah you can play a little fantasy game maybe people need to do that shit but they know it's a fantasy game maybe one says oh no 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 and you know she wants to do the rape fantasy well fine that's it that's playing okay we're talking about real life we're talking about the real fucking world and you know the difference between a fake no and a real no and and it's just crap to say you can't make distinctions like that it's just crap to justify ever imposing yourself on somebody else ever ever you know, when they've made it clear you're imposing, then you, you let go of it, okay? You don't own somebody else, you dumbass. So, you know, this stupid fat fucktard gets away with saying this complete crap. And, uh, yeah, you have these, these stupid little, whatever they are, these little fat twats that, 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 that you know, eat up all his crap. Uh, these, these shit eaters. That's what we should just call them, shit eaters. I mean, what, what, can, what else can these people be? I mean, that stupid panda guy comes in my stick hand room. Seems like a decent enough person, but he is so far up the amazing atheist ass. It's just incredible. He justifies everything this fucker does. He, you know, it's just amazing. So anyway, um, so with another strike against him. He had this stupid free speech vids website, and he's made a complete mess of it. Um, just garbage. And now he's just putting his own videos on the goddamn website, and he's just begging for more money. More money for what? I mean, you've already wasted four grand or whatever the fuck it is. You want people to give you more money to do what with? I mean, wasn't even specific about that. I didn't even say, well, it's for the free speech video site. Or no, it's just to keep you your fat ass from having to get a job. Is that it? I mean, come on, this is just bullshit. I mean, who the hell can get away with this crap? Yeah, I'm just gonna spend 24 hours in blog TV and beg for fucking money. I mean, what a pile of crap that is. I mean, yeah, I can understand if you're goddamn homeless or something, but you got your cameras and you got your this and you got the, you know, you're not the fucking homeless. You've got nothing to, you got, there's no excuse for this shit. You're just trying to beg for a lifestyle. You're not begging for necessities. So anyway, it's just kind of disgusting. So anyway, I guess that's sort of related to the Kobe thing, <laughs> Cody, uh, Saturn 9 Films. His account was suspended. What the fuck? Yeah. Um, he didn't explain it very well in his video. Um, he got apparently got a DMCA, and uh, you know from a couple of different places or something. And he says somehow YouTube won't let him file a counter notice, which I find impossible to believe. I mean that's just bullshit. I mean that can't be true. I mean they're illegally obliged to allow you to counter notice. That just doesn't make any sense. Um, it's a partnered account, so I really think it's probably worth saving. Um, if there's it's probably salvageable. I mean, I, I would think they have a higher standard for erasing a fucking partnered account than they do for a regular account. But whatever. Um, you know, they have all that networky thing. You get to actually email somebody and, and you know and get an explicit answer to questions. 
but whatever, it's not a good thing, whatever it is. So yeah, um, support, support, blah blah blah. Uh, mirror, mirror. If if you if you you know you got the space, go ahead. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to mirror the video just because you know Kobe didn't come to my rescue. So why the fuck should I help him? I don't think he's really ever mirrored a video that I remember. Uh, so he's not exactly you know he wasn't there uh, as a community member. Uh, in the past, so I don't know why he would think the community is going to come, you know, roaring to his defense. But I mean, there's a defense to be made. I mean, it's just bullshit. Accounts shouldn't be fucking eradicated. It's crap. Even though he hasn't really made a video in four months or whatever. But anyway, whatever. And I, you know, he's big on this change thing. He actually sent me a PM about change, and it's like, well, what the fuck am I supposed to change into? Uh, you know, you you know, you're you're young, yeah. So you're still in flux or whatever, and some people kind of turn into cement. At